Well, hello there. I'm Linda V. Taylor, and this is Best of Both Worlds. Stay tuned because we have Jody Robinson here again. Jody Robinson is here again with us, and we had so much fun last time. Yes, we did. I was so excited to see all the designs that you did, and you're here to give us some more information yes. and show us some more wonderful things. Looks like we're going to be working a little bit with stencils today. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's just get started. I've recently started using a lot of stencils, and the reason that I started with all of this was years ago I had tons and tons of stencils which I never used mm -hmm. ever because they never fit where you wanted and so I recently switched my studio to a new room which entails uh -huh. cleaning out all of that stuff that you have and this stencil is what started it for me really so this was laying on my table and I came into the room and I thought wait a minute if I flip this if I mark this and then I flip it and mark it that way, mm -hmm. it makes a circle in the middle. Ah, oh, cool. And then I started okay. to think, but I don't want to stitch this stencil. This mm -hmm. is very, I would not stitch this. Mm -hmm. But as you can see on the sample, I just filled in. So you can just fill it with whatever you like. And some, I mean, you could use two of these to fill. That is awesome. You know, and you so don't. So we need to look at these in a different way. Absolutely. I mean, so for me, I think of them more as a framework now. Okay. So, you know, then that started. I go online and start searching, and of course, <laughs> I find out they have this stencil in a little size. Mm -hmm. And I use that on this sample. And you can see I flipped it here. It just would be more um, for a background or a smaller area. I did and it, it makes here. It even. Kind of offset the circle. That is cool. That would be beautiful in a border, too. Absolutely. Of course, I'm still thinking traditional. Where, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think the funniest thing I realized was that it says circa 1835. <laughs> and so what I like to do with it really is probably totally different from that. Mm -hmm. um, so that was they fun. They had a lot of good ideas. <laughs> and then um, this stencil, very simple. And it's nice because it's continuous. Mm -hmm. So for a long arm, you know, that's always... Mm -hmm you know, a good thing. And then the sample for that one is right here. And you can see that I marked this stencil this way. Then I just flipped, flipped it, it over. and marked it again. And then rather than marking all of it, I left some open spots that mm -hmm. I was able to fill in. Mm -hmm. And then on this section right here, I just marked it repetitively three times and left a gap in between. I love so, I mean, that. it's a really easy way, you know, people, mm -hmm. and I think when you do this on a quilt, someone sees this and they think, oh my, you know, how did you do that? And then to find out that it's so simple to do is great. That's, a, that's really neat. Now, how do you mark it? How do you, um, what do you mark with? So, I mark with a lot of different things. Mostly, I use the pounce pad. Okay. Uh, it's just, you know, the easiest if you're mm -hmm. doing a lot. If I want to pick only one section of a stencil, I put my pounce powder in a little plastic container mm -hmm. and have a sponge brush mm -hmm. like you paint. And then you can pick and choose oh, okay. lines okay. that you want. Or a marker, a blue marker, a white okay. pencil, or whatever works. And, of course, you should always test it. Yes, you know, to you make know. sure it comes off. <laughs> Every fabric's different. And you bet. You bet. Yeah, well, so. we can't wait to see, see you quilt some of this out. Yeah, it's super easy. Okay, so before we actually stitch, let me go ahead and mark this stencil. And I'm going to use my pounce pad, and contrary to what the, sa the name, pounce, mm -hmm. you don't, don't really pounce. pounce. <laughs> you just want to swipe it across and, you know, just kind of hold it steady there and... Kind of scrub. Yeah, and that's it. It's on there. Uh -huh. It's a little bit hard to see. They may not be able to see yeah, it on the but camera, we'll, but we can see it. Yeah. And once you've uh, marked out, I now have my little areas to fill. So I'll go ahead and stitch. With this particular stencil, you can make 
a, a couple of different decisions. One of the first ones is would, would be whether or not you're actually going to stitch these lines. Each one? Or Each, yeah. yeah. You may, maybe I don't even want to use one line and make the design bigger. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and stitch those lines just so that you can see the areas that I'm going to fill. So you, come up. so you may not even want a line there is what you're right, saying. Right, exactly. You might you just want to fill want. the designs yeah. in without, mm -hmm. okay. okay. And it'll create those areas, you know, depending on what you fill it with. Mm -hmm. So once you fill these, stitch. I'm going to come back up to the top here so I can start. But if I were actually working on a quilt, I would probably actually stitch this, go ahead and fill, stitch, fill, and, fill. and work okay. my way as mm -hmm. I go. So you don't have to um, go back. And so since we did that little kind of arch design, I'm going to just go ahead and do that on this one. So I would just fill it in. You have your little line to travel, and you would just go until you fill this whole area in. And, you know, maybe, you know, if you're a new quilter and maybe you don't have a whole lot of designs that you're really comfortable with using, just use whatever you like to use, you know, what you are comfortable with. Well, that's cute. That's that elongated U shape mm -hmm. or arch. It's very arch. simple. It kind of echoes mm -hmm. the shape of the stencil itself. I mean, and you could even, maybe you just choose to fill every one, every other one of these sections with a fill. You could do that as well. Or maybe you want to come in here and just do a little swirl. And so that's the fun part, is that it's totally up to you what you put in here. Everyone's would be different, and... right out of there. I think sometimes, Jody, we just try to overthink things. Sure, um, sure. And that's why this is simpler quilting and it, it, it makes so, sense. It's not know? so much to think about. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have a, an area and you're going to fill it in. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, and maybe you are looking for something a little more traditional. You could certainly put your feathers in here. Or it could be as simple as little circles, like pebbles, that fill that in, and you're done. And you could, um, you can see on this sample, let me pull this in here real quick, that even in the smaller one, I used a very, very simple design here. Mm -hmm. And it was really just to create the texture. You know, the difference between one is left open, mm -hmm. one's filled, open filled. And then we would have the center. And that negative space something. is really important because that's what raises up. And sure. So, yeah, but it just looks and so I, good. I think, too, you know, if you were to use this bigger size, and, and you, I probably would not choose, in reality, to fill every one of these mm -hmm. with such a similar density design because mm -hmm. it's just turning into uh, a, a big quilting. quilted thing. Right. You know, you might want to alternate you know, something that's maybe a tighter and a looser and tighter. Okay, well, that's good suggestions. That's okay. awesome. And do we have another design? This other... We do have one other one. Okay. And let me show you. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and mark, push this out of, well, mark this. And what I'm going to do then is flip it. And I want to line it up so that they're matching. Pretty well, we'll see. <laughs> um, mark this side. And so it now creates kind of like a chevron, wavy chevron pattern. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, um, like in the sample, I'm gonna leave a couple of these sections not quilted so we can put something else inside there. So I'm just gonna give myself a couple little marks here so I remember what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start, and I'm, what I'm gonna do is just first stitch that actual stenciled design. When I get to this side, I'm just gonna echo back. And I am not trying to keep it precisely spaced, because I think when it's, it's not, it actually creates a lot more movement. I'm 
gonna stitch this one. Plus you don't stress out so much. <laughs> and that's the best part. And then I'm gonna echo back again. Come down here, I'm gonna go ahead and skip two of them. I'm just gonna do the same thing. Stitch that design. Echo back. One more. Echo back. And of course you could, you know, as many as you want mm -hmm. in here. Mm -hmm. But what I'm going to do is go ahead back up into this section. And I would just put these little straight lines. I'll see how straight I can keep them without. But you could certainly, I mean, it doesn't need to be the straight lines. I just like the idea of having the, the um, contrast of the straight lines with the wavy. Yeah, I think that's very Design. appealing. I mean, it just kind of mm -hmm. really has a nice contrast. And you're just uh, backtracking on your... And I'm um, just, yeah, traveling okay. along here. Mm -hmm. So I would go ahead and fill that in. And what I'm going to do, too, here, you can see, so I, I'm going to go ahead and throw some bigger ones in here, too. That really breaks it up as well. It really does. And if you choose to, I mean, you could fill those bigger areas with something maybe, mm -hmm. you know, that you... Uh... Well, I can see we can always do a lot more quilting. Absolutely. It's, um, it's not quite as much quilting that um, I think appeals to me with this modern look. And sometimes, I mean, I really like to do things where maybe somewhere just somewhere as I'm going along I'll throw in one pebble uh-huh or just, may, you know and maybe one here and one here and just as this random kind of little thing that's in there now you're gonna decide what you want to fill in your things you you could leave it open just like this you could be done mm hmm I think I would need more than that you know and on the sample I did the pebbling I mean I just filled that in and they can be as big as or as small as you want. I would have a little bit more in there, but pebbling seems to be very popular right now. It I does. I think I mean, everybody can do that. You just and you can go around it more than once if you need to. Or yeah, I like it. So and I like to do a lot of different oddball sizes because mm -hmm. then you know there's no side by side comparison if they're not all one size. But another thing that I would possibly do in this design would be to just travel down and put one circle where that big opening is. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Another thing that works really well is to just add a swirl because you have that nice open mm -hmm. area. Nice clean lines. And sometimes, I mean, I think for me, it just depends on the quilt. You know, sometimes I wouldn't want so much of that. You know, curly and... Mm -hmm. It just depends on what it calls for. Well, those are just awesome designs. Thank I could you. see that in a border. I could see that yeah. in anywhere. I mean, I mean of course, you're very versatile. Big, yeah. I think is the thing. Very versatile. And I mean, so. you know, again, if you're a totally traditional quilter, you could easily fill feathers in there mm -hmm. or, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. And still you have the structure. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Guidelines, boundaries mm -hmm. are great, I think. I mean, I use that I almost in every quilt in some way. Wonderful. That was so much fun. I, I just have so much fun watching everybody <laughs> quilt. It's so amazing. Quilting is awesome. It, it is, really but amazing. I think what you've shown is some really kind of unique things. And well, thank you. I think everybody's gonna wanna try them, I know I do. I hope that, I mean, it's just easy. Yeah, it's fun. That's awesome. Well, will you come back? Absolutely. Thank you, thank you.
So, watch for Jody and join us next time on Best of Both Worlds. <laughs>